KD8NJZ and I uh, thought it'd be time for another video. I'm starting something new. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, as you know, I was uh, licensed as a ham last year, March of 2010. As a general, upgraded my extra this past April in 2011. And I've tried all sorts of things. Um, of course, single sideband, uh, 100 watts, QRP. Uh, PSK31. My latest thing is I've been working on CW, which is a lot of fun. So yes, I know code. I'm not very fast, but I do know code. Although there's a couple characters I'm still trying to lear learn. And uh, my latest endeavor in the ham radio hobby is building kits. Um, I'll just I'll just say I've got no background in electronics, none. <laughs> So the whole uh, hobby of, of amateur radio has been a, a learning experience for me. Um, my dad was an electrical engineer by trade, uh, well, is an electrical engineer by trade. Um, and where he was gifted in math and science and electronics, I was more gifted in English, history, literature, music, things like that, the, the non-sciences. So it's been a challenge for me learning some of the concepts that I have uh, to get my ticket. So I thought it, it would be a good thing for me to eventually do a kit. Well, I, I, after studying and, and looking around to see what was out there, I wanted something simple and small that I could start on, and uh, something that would be an interest, and I thought, well, it might be kind of cool to do a, a QRP radio in CW. So I started looking around, and a couple of people suggested looking at Small Wonder Labs. Um, I'll put the address at the bottom of the, the screen here. Uh, Small Wonder Labs, I forget the, call, the uh, HAMS call sign that, uh, that does this, uh, they have quite a few different kits that you can work on that are, are minimalist, uh, very easy to start on, and from all the reviews I've read, very good kits. So what I chose was uh, the Rockmite. It's a uh, half watt uh, CW transceiver that can fit inside an Eltoids tin, very small. And I, I decided on the 40 meter band, generally because I'm more active at night due to working through the day. So I went with a 40 meter band and uh, chose the kit that has the uh, 7.030 crystal. Now I have since ordered another crystal for a different frequency uh, after uh, somebody suggested maybe looking for another frequency because uh, that the 7030 is not friendly to QRP from what I've heard, even though that's one of the uh, calling frequencies for QRP. So I've been eagerly awaiting it and there is the kit. A very small envelope. Like I said it uh, it fits inside an Eltoids tin. I've decided not to put it in an Eltoids tin uh, just in case I want to do any modif modifications to it later. I've heard it's a very tight fit. So I, I found a supplier for uh, tins that have a, a clear top so you can see down into them and uh, I'll show you that in a little while. But here it is. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick intro and, and let you know. The journey has begun on kit building. This will be my very, very first kit build. I'm a little nervous, but pretty excited. And um, we'll try and document as much as we can through the uh, process of putting this radio together. I'll have pictures, still pictures, and uh, of course some video. I don't claim to be the world's best solderer, but uh, We'll see what we can get done. All right. Well, until next time, 7-3 from KD8NJZ.